Right, which and here we go, we're going live. Okay, right. go for it. Welcome to Vanilla CV. You're watching a show match, Highlander show match between the top three teams in Europe. They've mixed up the teams. Players have voted for the classes. Players, the public's voted for the classes. We're on bad water. I'm with Chaplin. Right. I'm Commander X, and Ari is streaming. And we're going to see Team B on the defense here first. Yep, I think at the start it's all about the sentry position, and we can see the uh, engineer, which is Nariel Horrible. Who's who's that? Oh dear, this is horrible. Yeah, he's putting up his sentry in the quite standard position in the top right. It's not a great position, it's not really sheltered, easily spammable. We want to see an SD put up there, but we'll see how he manages to tweak it to get it working. Yeah, this seems to be the default sentry location from my limited experience in Highland, and this seems to be where everyone puts it. They just wrangler it from up top, and it gives them something to build from. And I'm actually a Fritz here, the red team. They're on crit, so I'm going to imagine F2 is going to want to crit into spawn. be interesting to see how ready they are for this. Uh, setup time ending now, here they come. I expect a suicide to come in from Team A. Early at Hedge on Greg, down he goes. They're pushing in and out, but Crits has popped. A couple of frags apiece. Not getting anyone important though, Numbuck survives. And the Crits doesn't do a whole lot there. Doc, come on, man. Medic. Medic. And they're gonna, I think they're just gonna regroup and try and push out again. I mean, they do have that Uber and Team B do not have it. Walters has no Uber. He won't have Uber at any point because he's running crits. So, teammate can just push this. They're walking up this high side now. Demo, Pyro, Demo, Heavy, all there. Get air blasted back. Oh god, did Numlock drop? Numlock got to a sniper! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. And that's going to absolutely kill the push. Completely. Like, they're all going to die. And this is going all Team B's way so far. People in chat calling it a dunk. Oh, that, that's, that, that needs to catch on. Roy's wins the sniper duel. Frag's been traded up top here. Mike and Dunk doing nice work. Picking off those players trying to push forward. The heavy and medic actually drop down here as the cart's being pushed through. They crit the heavy from behind. Demo man's weak. Demo man goes down. Nothing else is going down. Crit scout. They pick off Numlock. They're going to clean up the entire car here. To clean the... Looks like they're going to stabilise once again, and still, Greg and Co can't get anything going. Uh, here goes a spy on the sentry. He does manage to get the engineer. Greg actually does something, guys. Wow. Shut me <laughs> up already. Wow. Yeah, that's the first. Yep. Yeah, I'm back now. I'm all again. <laughs> Yeah, and that sentry kill has actually allowed teammates to push all the way forward here. And he's able to height advantage here, they're going to do so much damage. Soldier bombing on. Medic's in trouble. Down goes Walters, 10% away from Uber. Dead now, and Team A are going to be able to roll this through. After a shaky start, they can really get some momentum going here. And it looks like they're going to push straight round onto that roof side as they leave a couple of players to keep pushing the car. They're on that roof, and Team B haven't really had time to stabilise the defence here. They just keep getting pushed back and picked off. And Team A at the moment, much more of a team. As Mike and Longus trade on roof. A few frags of peace, more players up for Team A though, and they're just going to keep pushing us forward. They need to be quick here, they need to stop uh, team, a, team B even from setting up a defence. Heavy takes a headshot, it's going to be forced back. They're trying to muscle their way in. That Heavy's got no heals at the moment from the Red Heavy. He's going to be forced back. The Uber's popped kind of early from the teammate Medic. They're not going to be able to get much done with this. Pyro's going to take down the level 1 sentry. And that's about it. Flag on STV. They're going to muscle their, muscle their way around the corner, but they will get picked off. Thailand's a body shot. And they're going to crit onto the cart here. And they've got Pesca. They've got a dispenser. Not the best crits, but the important players had already died anyway, so it doesn't matter. And, yep, uh, sticking on regular here, team. The attacking side, not going to choose to swap it up to crits. They want to be good to get around a choke point, and they just keep... Meanwhile, team B are just pushing them further and further back. Don't want to give up that penultimate cap. 
picking up the players. Uber advantage as well, and I believe that is still crit, so it is still crit, so I want to check F2 out in a second or two, see what he's doing. Greg dies, presumably for the 20th time already, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, about that much. I mean, I think Team A looking pretty strong at the minute. But you know, um, Team A are running crits and everything, that's really working out for them that much. But you'll just have to see what's going to happen now. Uh, Thigh does manage to melee Greg straight to the face with his custom subjector. I hope he taunted after that one. <laughs> That'll be a uh, good fragment for Team A. Walters goes down. Yeah, Walters goes down. Absolutely smashed. There, the one gets going down as well. And we got a um, Frontier Justice crits all over Mike. Mike manages to keep his footing. And he pistols the engineer straight down. Stefan goes down. Here comes the Uber from the mate into the sentry, take that down with no problem. Heavy just around this corner, trying to slam him down, but Heavy has no heals. 126 health, Matlin can't stay in this fight for much longer. And he goes down, they've got the cat now, and they're trying to find this corner, but Mike gives them big clean up. And Team B are trying to stay alive, but they don't want to give up this high. Ground. That corner, sort of where the medics are in is so important because once they lose that, they lose the height advantage. And it's more difficult for them. Oh, huge kill from Pescanova! Yeah, that was massive. Pescanova just yeah, yeah. maybe winning the cap here with all those frags. Wow. Yeah, uh, I'm not Matt sure there's any stopping team, mate. Eh? Yeah, minute. Matt and I isolated with no heals. They have a sniper up top, but this goes on him. This takes him down. Engineers in the corner. Pescanova gets that as well. They're going to get respawners, but they're already set up. To kill the spawners. Big plays actually from Cookies at Kion Sniper. Yeah, they're slowing them down here a lot, but I don't think it's going to be enough as Team A just have too much. They just need to get the cart going. Someone seems to stay on that cart. And Matnan and the Pyro. Who's the Pyro? Is it Stefan? Yeah, Matnan and Stefan are going to push them back. Yes, yeah, it's a really, really big push from Fisco actually up top. Fisco got a, better, a triple kill right at spawn with a few reflex. Got a sniper and a soldier. Really made it for them there. Also, Pesco is pushing through now. He's getting a lot of Jirati kills right here. Uh, Matna goes down. Waters goes down. Greg goes down again. And Stefan, and looks like Team A is just absolutely cleaning up Team B on the last point here. Big Pesco over, getting a lot of kills. And uh, Big Heavy getting a lot of kills as well, I think. Yeah, and it looks like they should have cleaned up. They've got spawners coming in, though. Mike doing so much work here. On the medic, takes down Seb as well. Finally, Ranger takes him down, and we're going to count this out. I just want to point out. Right now, Mike is on 18 frags and has more than double the second closest to him. <laughs> like, I don't know, he's literally like in a league of his own. <laughs> 18, like double what anyone else's frags is a ridiculous amount of frags to get. I presume yeah. he's been Highlander, like the second highest is Flisco on 9, Ty on 10. And we're going to see Team A attempt defense here as we have a mass suicide for Metal. <laughs> Quid uh, quintuple suicide here, yeah, right on there. <laughs> yep, make sure that engineer can build everything up. Um, he doesn't really even need that much metal. He's got the two big ammo packs. So, what did he make in that last round, Ben Chaplin? Oh, it was, it was a very, very, very quick round, I thought. Now, there was a lot more resistance towards the start for, for, uh, for Team A, but then it was a straight roll right towards the end with Pescanova picking up a lot of kills. And Tweak really getting some really, really good frags. Uh, I thought it was excellent play from them. Yeah, there yeah. were a couple of... I, felt, I seem to notice as well that last point's particularly difficult to push. Yeah. Uh, I'm just being told, like, the time 6.20 is... My HUD refuses to tell me. Yep, 6.20. Seven times finished. And it looks like Team B are going to make their way out here. I hear headshots being traded off. Just feeling their way out. Moving the cart, edge of the cart forward for free. Soldier and demo up. They do pick off Longus early, and they're just trying to. They're just walking out here. Medics coming out too. They're not going for the suicide really here. Just walking up. Ty's picking off people all over the shop. Yeah, Ty's getting some great headshots. Uh, Derek's hit dunk being left to just push the cart with the medic and the heavy. No much. Uh, still has his Uber though, and it looks like he's going to try and use his Uber advantage to get through this uh, tunnel right here. Although he is actually standing completely still. Does he realise he's putting himself Uber advantage? Um, I don't know, but they seem to just be forcing the cart through here. It's going to be really difficult for them to get up to that sentry boat. It's going to be interesting to see how they tackle this. They're just walking through here. There goes the Uber. Counterpoint comes in from Walters. Heavy's going to drop down to chase. Blue medics juggled. Trapped in a corner by that Heavy. Great work by Tavik. And they're going to clean up most of the players here. 
Big effort from Pescanova right there on a scout. Take the Mike with uh, Ethan with a bomb here. Great, get a few little city ambassador shots in there. Managed to finish off Thai. And it looks like that the uh, B team are going to be able to hang on to this one. Uh, although, A team are putting up quite a stoke defense. Yeah, they're going for a non uber push up top there. Neither team's going to have uber. That pyro just denying that heavy any room up top. They're going to have to force back here. And they're stuck on that low ground. They're going to try and make their way back up with the heavy pyro. But they really need the uber to get around this corner. And they really need to do something to do with that pyro. As I hear am ambassador headshots, real headshots. Yeah, great. Right, just like double ambassador headshot there. <laughs> double kill, two kills, two headshots from Greg. And it looks like. Um, he may have Uber here, they don't know the other team doesn't have Uber yet, so they're not going to push into him, they're just going to hold, give time, it's going to give time for Walters to build up. Oh, now they're pushing forward, not pushing forward, they're waiting for players, they've got Pescanova with them, it's going to be with that Pyro of Stefan, who can deny them again, there he goes, air blasting them, combined with a sentry, knocking yep. them so far back, F2 does get the sentry gun with spam, but He's going to set up straight back up with help that level 3 dispenser as they go aggressive here on Longus. But Longus gets destroyed by a reflect rocket from Stefan. You will beat him really if we trying to form up and go back in at the minute because time is running out. Only 1 minute and 50 seconds left. That was enough time for the, uh, the A team to catch 3 points. So time is running out. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not Greg's fault, let's be honest here. I mean, uh, Randall is doing a lot of work, but Pesco is doing a great job. Yeah, they're just playing so compact, Team A, and it looks like Team B might be able to get something through pushing underneath here. They do, pushing underneath, they do avoid the sentry, but they do concede a lot of height advantage, and now is their opportunity when Team A have no heals to push through. They're, t they're taking a long time over this, and Walters has now respawned. Am I saying the right name? No, Numlock's now respawned. And he's yeah. going to come and help his team out. But Mike to steal a sentry kill. And they might want to push forward on this. Here comes F2. F2 and the Heavy destroying the scout and soldier. Demo Man isolated there as well. Yeah, Walters just catch down with the spam. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I was too busy laughing at Greg trying to stab a, a, a friendly scout. Uh, who was double jumping. That, I think that's a little highlight for me. <laughs> Oh, you, just, you always want to be sure, you know, you never trust anyone, just... I, I stab my friends at the time to check for not spies. <laughs> as, we, as we see... I can't actually see how many you're times you're left here. You're <laughs> Only a few. And... Right, okay, well look, it's really about where the TB can actually keep momentum going forward. pescanova has gone right onto the back of it, gets taken down. TB haven't noticed the teleporter behind them at the minute, of the height advantage. It goes down now, Doug takes it down. Um, and it's all going to be about what momentum they can actually keep to get forward in this next two minutes because they've got a big, big uphill struggle against them. Yeah, plus Team A has Uber, they're waiting on that roof, they can jump, they want Team B to get closer, so they can just jump down on them and get loads of frags, but they're just picking them off. Buff banner goes off here, they're trying to get anything done with it, but the medic's easy for them to heal through one soldier spam, even with buff banner. You see Dunk doing a lot of work with the direct hit here, just taking out dispensers, getting a few hits with the heavy. Just proves why the direct is such an effective weapon. Not one I actually like, but it's still good anyway. He's shooting the six target, so it looks like he's doing more work. And we see the Uber come up from the lower side here. The counter Uber pop from Team A a lot later. Uh, lots of frags traded on either side, and they do manage to sneak TB sneak the cap in that, and the heavy medic combo was stuck behind. It looks like Team B are going to get sandwiched here quite a lot. Tavix is picking everyone off. Dunlop goes into the Ubersaw, takes down Cookie, and Tavix is racking off kill after kill after kill. Yeah, just 56 seconds. You know, I really, really doubt uh, Team Team uh, Team B's ability to actually successfully push this now. I mean, they're just taking way too long. 45 seconds. I'm not sure that's even possible. But we'll see what's going to happen. <laughs> Mike uh, chasing down the no demo who ate a reflected. The number just taking him down with the Uber saw and there. No fear of his teammate Mike. Takes him straight back down. Gives his team a 20 uh, Uber advantage as well, even. And Team B is going to have to keep pushing here. They've got no choice. And it feels like they're just going to get. Everyone's just going to get picked up pretty comfortably here. 
as my pirate finishes off for frags. They've cleared the card. I'm not sure how much time is left, but I'm pretty sure it's not a lot. Yep, eight seconds now. Seven, six. Yep, five seconds left. It really is all over now. That's a, a first map win for Teenage. He might, do we only do it for one? As far as I know. But they're calling good round now. That makes me is it ABA? Mm, is it ooh. ABBA? Or is it... Well, we'll just have to see. I don't know, are they going again? Three. Okay, it's best of three. Okay, it's best of three. rules. I'm Sorry, it's we're playing ABBA. Alright, nice. So... Team... B should attack again now. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's right. Um, and they were a bit rubbish that last, last round, comparatively. Um, what do you think they need to do differently, really, to... Help them out, help them get their hands on that cash money. Well, I mean, you, you saw Team A again and again and again, using really compact for, compact formations, holding the advantages. And I think Team B really need to think about, you know, should we be more compact? Should we be trying to take these advantages from them? And it's really about all the positions. I think having Tweak on, um, on Team A is helping that a lot. You can tell he's having a big impact on the comms. And he's uh, ordering back quite a bit. But I, I got a lot of faith. I got a lot of faith in, uh, in Thai. He's been playing well. Got a lot of faith in Mike. Got a lot of faith in Matnun. And I'm going to trust that they're going to learn from the mistakes and take this one. I want to point out one thing. I think, I think we found something Stefan isn't good at, as he is currently the bottom fragging combat class with two frags, the same as Numlock. So Stefan's bad at pyro. <laughs> so we found his weakness. He is human. And they are going to push out here, and have Team B not been building? They're only on 67% Uber, and that's interesting. Um, team A in the normal default hold, both teams running standard Uber. Team B just trying to spam in, taking their time, getting that free cap time on the cart here. And they do get Greg catches a direct hit from Dunk. Down he goes. And they're just going to go for this, just pushing through the tunnel here, just getting that free cap time. And it forces Team A, the defending team, to do something. Oh, look how far they put that cart for free. At the minute, I'm watching, I'm watching Greg trying to make a big play here. He does get seen. And he is absolutely annihilated by my and Dunk. It's all going to be about taking that century. I mean, they took about three and a half minutes taking down that century last time. So right. we'll see if they're just going to, you know, try and get the path of least resistance through the tunnel. Or if they're just going to go, uh, you know, grip their teeth and get on with it and go up top. Yeah, they've just, they pushed the cart through lower and then went back up top to trade Ubers. And they do give a dispenser on Sentry here, but the later Uber from Team A is going to allow them to push everyone back. So much height advantage here. Buffed heavy as well. And we're actually going to push through the big door side here. Without that Wrangler Sentry spam across the map, it's a lot easier to push this more open side. We do see Matnun trying to get some damage in. He does a lot of damage, but he's going to get taken down. You know, I mean, we're just seeing an exact replay of what happened in the last game, you know? I think uh, Team B really needs to switch on and try and get them entrenched out of that position up top. Else they're just going to keep on coming. Yeah, they need, they need to regroup here. They've not got any Uber. Meanwhile, Num Blocks is 100% charged. They've reset up and had to a sentry up top. Engineers, like Bashir, is just sneaking the cap somewhat. Greg comes down, completely destroyed. They are going to take down Bash before he can cap it out for free. And it looks like they're just trying to push back up, try and get that sentry here. But it's so hard to get around that corner without Uber. Yeah, I mean, it really is crunch time for the attacking team at the minute. They need to get that interest position off top. However, they do manage to sneak around without even doing that. Blisco goes massive, manages to get an incredible amount of damage on the combo and the heavy, and Tweak finishes off his work. It's sort of an interesting position here, because they... He, team A are sort of almost stranded up up now with like the cap. It's been capped, but they're still holding us up top. They're still holding forward, and the teleporter is helping their respawns get there in time. Bash go massive for Frontier Justice crits at the minute. Gets a double kill out of that. Really, is such an amazing weapon if you uh, manage to get a few kills with your sentry. Three crits for you get crits for an assist, man. That that. That crap is overpowered. Hmm. You get, who wants crits for an assist, man? He doesn't even count. So when you get a domination, you've got four assists. You're not really dominating them. See some pretty interesting play from Matnum, camping the teleporter until a soldier comes out of it to get a free pick. Classic pub strategies there. It's all about 
stacking the frags here. That's players are really playing for. They don't want money. They just want to top frag a Highlander game. I mean, I'm surprised we haven't seen any of them try and take premium yet. <laughs> <laughs> and we do see the Uber coming in up top here. They get Randa for free. And they're trying to spam down that sentry. Great work from, is that gear? Yeah, it keeps the sentry up for ages. Here comes the Uber trade and they're going to fall behind. back. Drake gets absolutely annihilated as it's passing over, just come out at exactly the wrong time. And this is going to want now the booty to push up just a little bit. Dunk coming up with his direct hit, trying to get a few hits on the heavy. Yeah, Team B trying to force way up in this narrow staircase to take the roof. Just a pyro medic there of a moment. If they go now, they can just kill everything. But they're actually swapping sides. Ooh. If only they could see through walls, man. They would have been all over that push. They're pushing down the tracks now. Pyro on them, taken down pretty easily, but Walters will die from burn damage, obviously called weak, Fisker responds to the call, takes him out, and this is going to hurt Team B's push. I mean, if only they could see through walls, you know, Quad and Nace aren't playing at the minute. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it looks, I think Team A, have, Team A have conceded the roof, which will make this push a lot easier for Team B. But Team A do have the Uber. I'm going to keep saying random things about both teams without actually saying yeah. what that means. <laughs> we we are keep, keep stating anyway. facts. I'm, I was watching Catchphrase earlier. I'm just saying what I see, you know. I'm just <laughs> stuck in that loop. As yeah. we do see all the... What the I see now is Mr. all Chips. the frags. <laughs> all the frags go in the way of Team A. And this looks like they're going to be able to hold this pretty comfortably again. He's struggling yeah. with the pushes. Here. Yeah, we are just seeing, you know, again and again and again, Team A get in the right positions, get in the right place, and Team B being absolutely unable to do anything about it. You know, I, I'm, I'm think if this push doesn't go to, go to plan, we're going to see a really, really strong push from Team A on the blue side. You reckon? They've, yeah. they've retaken roof here. Um, where are? Uh, they're pushing up that narrow corridor again through the choke, the stairway, and they don't have Uber, but Team A do. Imagine they're trying to get the force out here for free, and they do get the force out, and the heavy's quite far away. Heavy and Pyro are going to chase, but the, the other team's long gone, and they've got nothing with this Uber, and are now at a 50% disadvantage. Played by Team B there. Just a waiting game at the minute, waiting for some picks. Uh, Cookie does manage to take down Greg, but Pescanova taking down Dunk. Uh, Matt Nunn get a, a very sneaky little kill on Pescanova with Gear Sentry, managed to rake in Cookie. You know, really is just killed everywhere. Reeks of mass disorganisation, but it also reeks of a pretty interesting game to watch. Yeah, a lot of trading going on constantly here, and they're still trying to force the issue. Scout on the medic here. Stefan can't take him down. No, Stefan can defend his medic. That's what I mean to say. Say the words in the right order, Commander, and that'll help. As we see them um, resetting again, not fancying the push with only a pyro. Pyro obviously can't actually do that much damage unless you hit a load of lucky reflects. And here they come, struck to a sticky trap, down goes Dunk. Uh, are they pushing behind here? I can't see the combo. And Walters died. Did Walters drop to a sticky trap? I missed that. I'm seeing well placed to Walters in the, <laughs> in the chat, which and it, that was definitely a drop. And. Another failed push from Team B here. Team A looking comfortable. And they, they need to get it together here, really. What would you do, Chaplin? You're you're in you're in Walter's position. You just drop the UV, you drop the Uber for your team, you need to rally everyone together. What would you tell your team to do? What's what's your new plan? Because they keep pushing this narrow corridor. And like this, Pescanova keeps getting sticky trap kills and is now top fragging the server with 35 frags. Yeah, I agree, Chaplin. As we see them push through the backside here. Kind of caught out. Longs is going to bomb onto him. Good defensive work from Mike there. But they do get picked off by Randa. Tried to push through that lower side. Couldn't get up the stairs quickly enough and just get completely cleaned up. And once again, comfortable hold. And they just can't get the cart any further along. Um, they need someone to go big, they need a clutch shot on the medic, a backstab, they need something to help it out, but, like, Numlocked is so well protected up here. Everyone around him, level 3 sentry, heavy, pyro, engineer, soldier. There's, there's nothing that can really get to him from a silo effort, they need to push as a team to force him. Only 15 seconds left, 
I'm gonna go with it's unlikely they will cap a three points yeah. in fifteen seconds. That's yes. Yeah. I'm gonna use my years of experience bet, yeah. in TF2 to predict that. Yeah. I mean, it's really gonna be just a race to see, you know, who can cap that first point the fastest. Two minutes and ten is an easy, easy time to get it in. So we'll see what's gonna be going on here. I mean, I think it's like. I've noticed before a lot when I've been watching Highlander that you see um, a, like an opening round suicide like you would on a gravel pit. Yeah, like well, the, the attacking just... the attacking team will all suicide to get the force out, kill a sentry, kill a demo man or whatever to give your team uber advantage. I've not really seen that. Um, like Team B didn't favour doing that. Well, I, th I think it's more used on maps. Um, you know, maps that either don't have a setup time or you know, it's in between pushes. Like where one, where one with multiple choices, where one. Uh, where one half of the team will get the option to capture one point and the other will get to capture the other point. So obviously the scouts can get capping and this all just have something to do while the rest of them do something. Um, is what I thought. What you I did know? like from Team B on that last offence is how, how quickly they, they got the cart like as far as they could really quickly without committing to the push. But when it came down to the actual pushes they just lost too many people and I don't think they were doing a horrible job, but Team B seemed Team B, Team A seemed so solid and together on their holds. I imagine Tavik will be very commanding and mumble. I can't hear the comms at the moment. He's very much taking charge, especially from heavy. You're sort of like the pocket. You see everything. You call the pushes. As we go live once again, and Team A have a mystery time to cap because my HUD doesn't work. Someone fill me in. <laughs> they have two minutes and two seconds to cap this point. Uh, two seconds. And then obviously out. they get the rest of the time uh, to cap the rest of the points, so we'll just see. Yeah, but you need to cap it within that, those two minutes, twelve seconds, or just cap more than one point yeah. at any point. And they, they sort of go in for the suicide a bit here. Not, They did get the force out, I missed that, I wasn't paying attention. But they are sneaking the sentry through, Greg gets dunked. Focusing down the key player there, well played Greg, you successfully stopped dunk. Nine man in your team. Yeah, that's a big one. That is. You know, and they've got the... really been menacing all game. <laughs> they've got the car pretty far here. Um, but I presume time is ticking down. I mean, what we're not really seeing as much as the beat, uh, the A team did is a really stoic defense at the top right. You know, uh, B team had a really, the A team had a really, really tight defense at the top right, which is a little bit more slack on that front. But we do have that being test that the metal of that being tested very much now. With uh, Team B taking four kills now, Bash goes down, the sentry gun goes down, and Stefan <laughs> manages to get himself a few little reflex, but goes down. It's not a great power as we said. Oh! Oh, nice little it. reflect there, straight into Walters. And well, this set's all over. I think it is now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to clean up the cap. It's just Matnan hanging behind. He's behind them now. They cap it out, they win, and I believe that's 2 0, and the opening round indeed goes to. Hey, well, I mean, Greg. Well, I mean, according to the spectator chat, uh, we've actually had four drops from Waters throughout the course of this map. One of those being from the Reflect in midair. The last, the last was definitely the yeah, most ref spectacular. Yeah, definitely. I think we need to get Cube on this and get yourself a, uh, you know, a, a Prem Players Highlander movie going on. <laughs> Since he seems to do NGS shots so well. Oh, uh, we've not seen any air. Oh, we've seen, a, I think, Pesnova got one air shot. Was that it? We'll see. You know, I'm sure there's a lot we're missing right now. There's a lot going on. Man, I'm, I'm pretty... Let's go with hyper. I'm really hyper at the moment. Yeah, you're really excited to get on with the <laughs> cast, yeah. I'm so excited about TF2. I can't quite control the frequency and volume of my voice. Um, <laughs> but we should probably sign off at some point for the VOD. Yeah, that would be so nice. So give me an MVP. Give me an MVP. Uh, well, my MVP has to go to a Big Week. I think uh, I've got a feeling his uh, his hand experience really paid off. He's also amazing body block plays from him. Who uh, who about you? What's your MVP? I'm I'm going for this guy, Big Ryan, uh, making a lot of big clutch plays on Walters. Uh, right. Some are sort of finishing with that reflect kill at the end. Big kills all run as we change map, and we'll see you on the other side. Uh, if, if you go with a waste man of the map, who would that be? Waste man. Oh god. Worst player. I think Stefan. Yeah. I think yeah, Stefan was. I, don't, I feel like he's playing the, the pyro role in a very much. I just reflect stuff kind of role. Like I'm just <laughs> like a shield. Like he's just like a force field protecting everything.
I've got a feeling Walter still thought he was playing scout as well. You saw him run into a few enemies there. We had a scout again. Back. Yeah, view models off. Walter's just jumping into their face. About to hit a meat shot. Ven realizes he's actually medic. Yeah, can't and... realize why you can't.